Welcome to the South Australian Museum in Adelaide for the announcement of the winners of the 2022 Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year competition. I'm your host Kelly Golding and I'd like to start by inviting Uncle Mickey O'Brien to welcome us to Ghana Country. Twila Manbudnik, Twila Wakanapadnik. Nina Mani Mukundu Wika. Naigana Biko, Maklankla, Marwachanga Gana Mina. Minina na Mani Puduji, Nai Nari Kamatri Marriage, Nai Wangadi Mani the Budni, Gani Yatana, Iridi Yata, Tenen Nanga, Malaychindi, Wakandi, Tura Poti. Hello and welcome to you over the internet or the lightning brain as we would call it. My name is Mickey O'Brien and I'm descendant of the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plains where we stand today on the dreaming place of the red kangaroo, but also here at the South Australian Museum. It is my pleasure uh, to bring to you the Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year 2022 awards uh, here that's been created by the South Australian Museum. My father, Yula Berka, the old man of the sea, would say, Nayurida, uh, Karalaika, uh, Kawa, Wonka, uh, Tanganga, uh, Yara, uh, Kuma, Yara Kuma Nindi. Uh, which means uh, we uh, understand that when we bring the outer world, the skies and the waters together, they become one. And when we look at this wonderful exhibition of these beautiful uh, images, we understand that that's what it's bringing, those animals, those creatures that live in this world and giving us the opportunity to explore and see it up close. So it's wonderful to bring this exhibition to you and I look forward to seeing you here at the South Australian Museum or as we've done through the lightning brain. So I leave you these words. It's saying we are truly brothers and sisters. Let us walk together. Let us realize that cultures do bring us together, but never say goodbye. Always say see you later because we never said goodbye to anybody because we understood our physical is only ever temporary, but our spiritual is forever. So nakara and nechaya. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And I look forward to seeing you. I'm here with the South Australian Museum's director, Brian Oldman, who will be announcing tonight's winners. Brian, can you tell us a bit about the South Australian Museum and the Nature Photographer of the Year? Thanks, Kelly. The South Australian Museum has been committed to making Australia's natural and cultural heritage accessible, engaging and fun for over 165 years. We're one of the most visited museums in Australia with incredible collections from the first signs of early complex life to the most comprehensive collection of Australian Aboriginal cultural material in the world. The South Australian Museum is also proud to own and produce the annual Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year. This competition began in 2004 as Anzang Nature Photography by Dr Stuart Miller who wanted to celebrate the incredible diversity of the Anzang region, incorporating Australia, New Zealand, Antarctica and New Guinea. In 2009, the competition was gifted to us and we have been delighted to continue its success since then. Never more so than in 2022, where we attracted entries from a record 602 photographers with a total of 2,443 photographs submitted. The competition and exhibition wouldn't be possible without the support of our sponsors and partners. And for the last 10 years, we've been lucky to have the support of our principal sponsor, Australian Geographic. And here's a message from their editor-in-chief, Chrissy Goldrick. Hello to everyone who's gathered at the South Australian Museum in Adelaide for the announcement of the 2022 Australian Geographic Photographer of the Year and to everyone else who's tuning in online. It's such an exciting moment and it's particularly exciting this year because it's been a record year for entry. So we look forward to seeing who has risen to the top and takes out that top prize. I'm sure it'll be a very exciting moment. This is the 10th year of our association with this prestigious photo competition. And it's very gratifying to note that it's been yet another record year for entries. We're also thrilled with the two new categories in this competition, astrophotography and urban animals. Why wouldn't we have a category like astrophotography in a country with such incredibly clear skies and such great views of the Milky Way at night? It's no wonder it has 
it generated such a lot of photography in this area and so much excellence in that category. So I look forward to seeing the result of that one. Urban animals, you know, we've all spent two years living at home, not really going anywhere too far and exploring our own backyards. And I think we may have all discovered that there's a lot more nature actually within Kui of our homes than we ever knew before. So it's a really important category to acknowledge that we do live side by side and shoulder to shoulder with so many wild things and that we really need to be aware of that and we, we need to take steps to protect their interests. So congratulations to all of the category winners and the runners up, to everybody who's been shortlisted and included in the beautiful exhibition and to everyone who entered. And a great job, judges. It's such a tough one. I don't envy you, but you've done a great job this year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chrissy. We also have wonderful backing from our presenting partner, Reamped Energy, and Chief Executive Luke Blinko has sent this message. Hi, I'm Luke from Reamped Energy. We're super proud to be involved in the awards this year alongside Australian Geographic and the South Australia Museum. We've been super impressed with the talent we've seen, uh, highlighting some of the endangered species of Australia and it's been fantastic to be part of that. We're glad that we could support the amazing photographers as they continue to tell their story. Finally, congratulations to everyone who made the shortlist and we wish you the best of luck in your category. Thank you, Luke. It's great to have you on board. I'd also like to thank Atkins, our production partner, who prints the exhibition for us here in Adelaide with such great care. And thank you to our prize partner, Coral Expeditions, for their generous contribution. This year, we also welcome a new sponsor for the Threatened Species category, which is presented in memory of Katrina Gerbratova. And of course, Dr. Stuart Miller and his sister, Mrs. Alison Huber, who continue as the competition's patrons in memory of their parents. Thank you all. We also enjoy fantastic support from the South Australian Government and are pleased to share this message from Andrea Michaels, MP Minister for Arts. It's my great pleasure to congratulate the 602 photographers submitting photographs to the Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year competition. The competition celebrates the natural heritage in the Anzac bioregion, which includes Australia, New Zealand, Antarctica and New Guinea. This year has seen a 49% increase in the number of entrants across the nine categories of this marvellous competition, demonstrating the continuing popularity of photography as an art form. I'd like to thank the judges who have had the pleasurable task of viewing a total of 2,433 wonderful images. Through the lenses of photographers of all ages and abilities, we see the intimate portraits of the natural world. These moments are either captured through patient preparation or a moment of serendipity. Encourage us to deeply observe and value our natural environment and sometimes question our impact on it. The South Australian Museum has proudly hosted this annual competition since 2009 and tours the captivating exhibition to various locations across Australia. I also encourage you to savour the beautifully produced catalogue and revisit time and again the awe-inspiring photographs of this spectacular region. Once again, congratulations to the winners, runners-up and all the entrants for your wonderful work. Thank you, Minister Michaels. As Brian mentioned, 2022 was a record year for entries in the Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year competition. We received an amazing 2,443 photographs from 602 photographers, showcasing an amazing range of talent that made our judges' job even more challenging. The competition's judges, Nikki Catley, Doug Jimje and Charlie Houveniers brought a wealth of photographic and scientific knowledge to the daunting task of selecting the 98 finalists featured in the exhibition. They commented on the quality and diversity of the entries received and remarked how much they enjoyed seeing them all. On behalf of the South Australian Museum, I would like to thank Nikki, Doug and Charlie. And now to the reason we're here. It's time to share with you the winners in this year's Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year competition. We'll save the overall winner until the end, so let's start with the individual categories. First up is the Animals in Nature category. 
The runner-up is Midnight Seahorse by Matt Testoni from Tasmania, an elegant and somewhat intergalactic portrait of a knobby seahorse. And the winner is Night Light Dining by Janico Kelk from Queensland, a fantastic action shot of a dusky leaf-nosed bat hunting fireflies. The judges were impressed by Janico's considered combination of flash and slow shutter, cleverly capturing moving wildlife traveling at different speeds. Today, Australian Geographic, the South Australian Museum, uh, people watching this in person and online. I'm very, very pleased to have won this award. Uh, I've been trying to do something like this for a number of years now, ever since I've started shortlisting, um, so I'm quite pleased. Uh, I want to thank three people, primarily my partner Jasmine Vink, one of the best wildlife photographers I know. Uh, I'd love to thank Ethan Mann and Charles Davis, who've given me plenty of free constructive criticism. And I want to thank three organisations. Um, they have been a supporter of my photography for quite some time. So that's the South Endeavour Trust, Our Recovery and Remember the Wild. If you guys could check out the, their work, it'd be fantastic. Thanks. Congratulations, Janico. Such an incredible action shot. In our new category of astrophotography, the runner-up is South Australian William Godwood for Flinders Rise, giving an extraterrestrial feel to the Flinders Ranges. And the winner is The Outlier by Jason Perry from Victoria, a beautifully layered view of Lake Tolondo in Western Victoria. The judges commented on the image's drama and moody depth, particularly noting the Milky Way silhouetting the trees while also appearing to illuminate the foreground. Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to give a big thank you to Australian Geographic and the judges for choosing my image, The Outlier as the winner of the astrophotography category. And I'm just super stoked to be amongst so many other great photographers and want to wish everybody a big congratulations, all the contestants, whether you are a runner up or a winner, um, congratulations to all of you. And I really look forward to getting out to South Australia to the museum and seeing everybody's amazing work at the exhibit. See you there, bye. Congratulations, Jason. And now we turn to the botanical category. The runner up is Justin Gilligan from New South Wales for gnarled mossy cloud forest, giving us a vertiginous perspective on Lord Howe Island's dramatic slopes. And the winner is James Dory from South Australia for Pink Tomb, his eerie homage to a branch that has come to rest on the salt lake. The delicate light used to capture the lake's pink hue and the photographer's ability to elevate the seeming insignificance of a fallen branch to a revered botanical subject impress the judges. Hi there, my name is James Dory and I'm the winner of the botanical section for Anne Zang's photo competition in 2022. Now that photo was called the Pink Two and it was taken on a pink salt lake in Victoria called Lake Crosby. Obviously, I'm not at a pink salt lake right now. In fact, I'm at the location of my other shortlisted image, the long lady, which was taken in my front garden um, on this pile of sticks. Now, for those of you who know me a bit better, you'll know that I like to take photos of things up close and personal and maybe try and gain a perspective that people wouldn't otherwise uh, be able to see. Um, and try and engage people with nature both near and far and hope also to maybe get them involved uh, in some way in conserving the natural world. Now, I'd like to thank the organisers of Anzang. Um, as usual, there are some incredible images out there, and I really hope that those images as well will really get people inspired to uh, look after and look out for nature. Congratulations, James. Now, moving on to the landscape category. And the runner-up is Ellie Morris from Western Australia for Forces of Nature, a spectacular depiction of a stormy afternoon in Western Australia's wheat belt. The winner in the landscape category is Yang Zhang from New South Wales for Breaking Dawn, a moment of serenity on the Tasman Glacier in New Zealand. The judges commented on the image's magical sparkle, saying the photograph was technically excellent. Hello, I'm Yuan Zhang, a landscape photographer from New South Wales. It is my great honour to be selected as the winner of the landscape category in this prestigious competition. I would like to say thank you to Australian Geographic 
the South Australian Museum, the judges, and all other participants. I would also like to say thank you to my family for their unconditional support for my photography all these years. My photo breaking down was taken from my mountain trip to Tatma Glacier in New Zealand. In the glacier, I was very lucky to witness a magical moment of three nights. And I'm glad that my photo captured such beautiful transition time in this unique place. Finally, I would like to say congratulations to all other winners and finalists. Hope you will enjoy the photos. Thank you. Congratulations, Yan. It certainly is a captivating scene. The next category is threatened species for any species listed as vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List. This category is presented in memory of Katerina Gobratova. The runner-up this year is Matty Smith from New South Wales with Head On, an engaging portrait of the vulnerable great white shark. The winner is Jake Wilton from New South Wales for Ocean Giant, depicting an endangered whale shark engulfing a bait ball of fish on the Ningaloo Reef. The judges appreciate the skillful documentation of this natural feeding behaviour and the amazing light captured on the bait ball. Wow, what an honour it is to have my image, Ocean Giant, awarded the winner of the Threatened Species category in this year's Australian Geographic Nature Photography Year competition. Winning an award in this competition is a dream come true and I'd like to thank everybody who's been there along the way throughout my entire photography journey. This image was captured using natural light and while free diving on the Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia. Whale sharks feeding on bait balls is such a rare behaviour that it's only been documented a handful of times and was first described scientifically this year. Witnessing this behaviour firsthand is a moment only made more special by winning this award. And I hope that this image can draw attention to not only this endangered species, but also the smaller, lesser thought of species that this animal relies on to survive. Congratulations to all the winning and shortlisted photographers, and a huge thank you to Australian Geographic and the judges for another amazing competition. Thank you. Congratulations, Jake. And now we move from the world of colour to the monochrome category. Our runner-up is Jared Coe from South Australia with Crackle and Pop, capturing a spectacular storm off the South Australian coast. And the winner in monochrome is Victorian Matt Crummins for Fish Rock Cave, his image of a school of grey nurse sharks. Judges remarked on Matt's clever compositional layering that draws the viewer into this captivating image. G'day guys, Matt Crummins here. I'm feeling pretty lucky today, not only of taking out the monochrome category award, but it's also the email that's come through to let me know, happened to come through on the only day that we've had phone reception whilst being out here exploring the Kimberley in WA. Shooting monochrome underwater is a real passion of mine as it strips away a lot of the preconceived ideas and expectations of the ocean, a place people traditionally associate with brilliant colours of the reef contrasted against big blue open water. It helps to simplify scenes down and really asks you to explore the textures and patterns of nature, as well as the light that can sometimes get masked by the colour. When positioning myself for this shot, I had those very patterns and textures in mind, looking to capture the unmistakable silhouettes of the sharks against the bright ocean surface. To complete the story though, I used a flash underneath the closest shark there in the foreground just to light it up and give a bit more detail. Thanks to all the judges and organisers and Australian Geographic for the opportunity to showcase my work. And of course, to all the incredible photographers who collectively make this award so meaningful through their own photographs. Be sure to follow all of us on our socials, of course, and thanks again. Cheers. Congratulations, Matt. The next category is Our Impact, where photographers document human impact on the natural world. This year's runner-up is South Australian Jeun Liang with the landing on Mars, a starkly beautiful view of a Broken Hill mine. And the winner is Alan Kwok from New South Wales for Snagged, a heartbreaking reminder of the impact humans can have on wildlife. The judges complimented Alan's use of shallow depth of field and framing to tell an important story without repelling the viewer. 
Hi everyone, thank you to the South Australian Museum and Australian Geographic for this award and running the competition. It's really humbling to be shortlisted amongst so many great photos and photographers, let alone to win a category. So thank you for that opportunity. Big thanks to my wife, Sam, for all her endless positive encouragement. It's very much appreciated. It's a bit bittersweet winning with this image because it is quite a sad one. We were in a gorgeous woodland, beautiful setting sun when we came across this roo that had snagged in the fence and passed away. Realizing how it had gotten tangled and that this happens to so many other animals was quite a sobering moment. So there was this juxtaposition visually with the warm and cold light in the scene, but also with what I was feeling emotionally, happy to be in this woodland, but quite sad knowing that this happens to so many animals. But hopefully some positives can come from this. Hopefully everyone who sees the image can keep a lookout for animals which do get stuck in fences, but also encourage others to seek out wildlife friendly fencing where possible. Those sorts of things might seem small to us, but can make a big difference to our wildlife. Thank you. Congratulations, Alan. We move now to the urban animals category in which the subjects must be depicted with evidence of human activity. The runner up is Gary Meredith from Western Australia for Sleeping Dragon, showing a long nosed dragon slumbering on wire mesh at a mine site. And the winner is Zikan Wang from New South Wales with the tunnel of eerie blue light depicting Australian glowworms in a disused rail tunnel. Judges praise Zikan's eye-catching and mysterious photograph, enjoying the use of photography to document wildlife not easily seen with the naked eye. I am surprised and honoured to be winner of the urban animals category of this prestigious competition. I would like to thank the judges for recognising not only the beauty of the charismatic megafauna, but also that of the humble invertebrates, the smaller majority that remain my passion for as long as I can remember. I also want to use this opportunity to express my deep gratitude to my family and friends for their support, encouragement, and occasional push. Without them, this shot will forever be just an idea in my head, and it is the people around me who weave this dream into being. Thank you. Congratulations, Zikan. Now we turn our attention to the junior category, open to anyone under the age of 18 years old. And the runner up is Kian O'Hagan from New South Wales for abstraction of an icon, catching a forester kangaroo mid hop in Tasmania. And the winner of the junior category is Kian O'Hagan again. A double header for Kian. The judges commented on Kian's contemporary execution and use of stark lighting and a severe palette to reflect the sometimes harsh reality of nature. Thank you so much for recognising my image impermanence in this year's competition. I think my image communicates a really important message about the deterioration of our natural environment here in Australia. And so I greatly appreciate the opportunity to share this work. Uh, and I find it a great motivation to have my image celebrated like this. So thank you so much. Congratulations, Kian, and all of the junior finalists. We have such a soft spot for this category and the talent it reveals each year. It's fantastic to know that photography is alive and well in our young people. Now it's time to announce the winner of the Portfolio Prize. The format of this category evolved in 2022, with photographers invited to select their collection of six images to enter as a portfolio with a shared theme of the photographer's choice. It resulted in an incredibly strong field of portfolios with diverse subjects, themes and styles. The winner of the 2022 Portfolio Prize is Alejandro Trevino of New South Wales with his stunning collection that celebrates marine wildlife along the urban coastline of Sydney. Judges said Alejandro had submitted an expertly sequenced portfolio unified by a consistent colour palette and subject. The use of light across the work establishes a sense of place and viewers will be surprised to see such diversity in the water of Australia's most popular city. Hello everyone, my name is Alejandro Trevino. I am originally from Mexico, but Australia has been my home for the recent part of my life. It is a great honor to receive the award for the portfolio category of the 2022 Nature Photographer of the Year. And I would like to start by paying my respects to the Gaia Megal people who own the land and the waters 
of the place where my photos were taken. This place is Cabbage Tree Bay, located here in Sydney in the northern beaches. All these shots are very recent, but they show an important element from the past. 20 years ago, Cabbage Tree Bay was declared an aquatic reserve. And thanks to that, today we can all enjoy a thriving ecosystem with an abundant sea life. It makes you appreciate how a protected environment can truly become a wildlife sanctuary, even when this is right in the center of the city. With these photos, I wanted to celebrate the natural richness of Sydney underwater and invite people to discover and to get close to it. It is an opportunity for us to reflect what else from nature can we protect today so that people in 20 years can continue to enjoy. I would like to dedicate this award to my wife and daughter, whose love has inspired me throughout my photography journey, and to my family and friends, who are also a very important part of my life. And I would also like to express my gratitude to the South Australian Museum, Australian Geographic, and of course to the judges of the competition. Thank you again, and I look forward to seeing all the exhibitions and the great entries later this year. What a stunning group of images. Congratulations, Alejandro. Okay, Brian, now for the last announcement and time to reveal the overall winner of the 2022 Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year. Would you like to do the honours? Absolutely. I am very excited to reveal that the overall winner of the 2022 Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year is... Ashley Jansen from Western Australia for Nature's Prey. Judges said this captivating image of a skeletonized humpback whale and tiger shark speaks to the circle of life. Its beauty lies in its artful circular composition seen in the curves of the whale's skeletal ribs, mirroring the patterns in the sand, keeping our eye within the frame, moving between the living and the dead. My name is Ash and I'm an underwater photographer based in Exmouth, Western Australia. I'm incredibly honoured and humbled to be named the overall winner of the Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year competition, an award I am so proud to have received so early in my photography career. Never did I expect to win such a prestigious award amongst so many talented photographers, some of whom I have looked up to and have inspired me to get to where I am today. My image, Nature's Prey, was captured in Coral Bay after a young humpback whale carcass was found on the ocean floor, stripped clean of its flesh by surrounding sharks. The Ningaloo Reef here in Western Australia has one of the largest humpback whale migrations in the world as they make their way up the coast in the winter months to find warmer waters. Tour boats have been watching this whale for days as it slowly moves around the reef appearing at the surface day after day with more and more shark bites over its body. We knew the end was soon approaching for this mammal. One day, fellow photographers and good friends of mine discovered the carcass after following an oil slick and a very distinct smell running through the bay. Excited to share their find, we rushed over to their location and jumped in the water to find the skeleton of the young humpback whale laying still on the ocean floor. Surrounding the bare bones were several different species of well-fed sharks. An unforgettable experience and a harsh act of mother nature, yet an important part of the natural ecosystem. I would like to thank the judges, the South Australian Museum, Australian Geographic and sponsors for this amazing opportunity and prestigious title. I would like to thank my husband, my family and my friends for their endless support, encouragement and advice. Without them, I wouldn't be here today. And to congratulate all the other winners and finalists in this competition. Thank you. Congratulations, Ashley. Such a hauntingly beautiful photograph. We look forward to sharing your work as part of the exhibition here at the South Australian Museum. Doors open to the public this Saturday, the 27th of August, running through until Sunday, the 30th of October. The South Australian Museum is incredibly proud to produce the Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year competition each year, and we can't wait for you to see it. This stunning collection of images will also be shown at the Australian Museum in Sydney from the 17th of September to the 11th of December 2022. When you visit the exhibition at either venue, make sure you pick up a copy of the catalogue and desk diary 
they make great Christmas presents. We've loved sharing these winning images with you and hope you've enjoyed seeing them. Congratulations to all of our winners and finalists. The exhibition and catalogue are absolutely beautiful. If you're in Adelaide or travelling here before the 30th of October, please do come to the South Australian Museum to see the exhibition. Thank you so much for joining us for these announcements and thanks again to the South Australian Museum for investing so much time and care into the Australian Geographic Nature Photographer of the Year.